Melania Trump's ex aide files to dismiss DOJ suit on tell all book. Stephanie Winston Wolkoff says she complied with the terms of her White House non disclosure agreement. First Lady Melania Trump's former confidant and one time aide filed a motion to dismiss a lawsuit against her by the Justice Department after she disclosed embarrassing details about the First Lady in a tell all book. Stephanie Winston Wolkoff was accused of violating a non disclosure agreement with the White House by publishing her book, Melania and Me. The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady. The suit, filed in October, alleges Winston Wolkoff violated a non disclosure agreement signed when she agreed to volunteer as an aide to Melania Trump and seeks to recover profits from her book sales. Winston Wolkoff argues she fulfilled the requirements of the confidentiality agreement, which she says ended when the White House terminated it. Legal experts have panned the Trump administration for exploiting the powers of the Justice Department to litigate the president's personal grievances. A motion to dismiss the Justice Department complaint filed Monday by Winston Wolkoff's lawyers argues the lawsuit is a meritless attempt by Melania and Donald Trump to improperly enlist the Department of Justice, the DOJ or government, to pursue entirely personal goals and interests, according to the filing. In other actions, the Justice Department sued former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman, who had a major falling out with the president and wrote her own memoir of her time as a Trump aide. The department sued Manigault Newman for violating federal ethics law by failing to file a required financial disclosure form within 30 days of leaving the White House. The Justice Department also attempted to take over the president's defense in a defamation case brought by author Regine Carroll, who accused Trump of raping her decades ago. Winston Wolkoff's lawyers at Paul Weiss, Rifkind, Wharton and Garrison contend the non-disclosure agreement was terminated more than two years before any of the alleged violations and there is therefore no basis to claim that Ms. Wolkoff failed to comply with any contractual obligation. The non-disclosure agreement, which forbade Winston Wolkoff from disclosing confidential information she learned working for Melania Trump, also takes a vague and overbroad view that violates Wolkoff's First Amendment right to freedom of expression, according to her lawyers. Outgoing Attorney General William P. Barr has defended the spate of suits filed by the Justice Department involving non-classified reports related to the president and his family. Winston Wolkoff is embroiled in a number of legal entanglements with the Trump family. The former friend of the First Lady served as a planner for President Trump's 2017 inauguration and is a third-party witness in a D.C. Attorney General's investigation accusing President Trump's inaugural committee of wasting donated money on an overpriced ballroom at the President's D.C. hotel. Winston Wolkoff was deposed earlier this month and has produced over 18,950 pages of documents for the office of D.C. Attorney General Carla Racine, D., after being subpoenaed. She previously said she felt betrayed when the media coverage of Trump's $107 million inauguration focused on $26 million paid to her event planning firm by the inauguration committee. Winston Wolkoff only personally retained $484,126 for her services, the Washington Post has reported. Ivanka Trump was also deposed and questioned for more than five hours by Racine's investigators. 